Hey guys, what's up? The Best Channel here, and today we're going to be unboxing. Well, we're sort of an unboxing and sort of not an unboxing, and it's more of a showcase, really. And yeah, here's what I got from the Alton Bus Rally on the 21st of the 7th, 2019. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, first off, here we have the Shearings Holidays Van Hall made by Corgi, still in its wrapper. Cost me eight quid as you can see there. So yeah, let's get into it. If I can guys. And hopefully my phone don't run out of storage. You guys are wondering on Friday I will be heading off to the Isle of Man to go and see that bus rally. So yeah, it's been pretty cool. And of course the bus rally is on the Sunday and I'm going on the Friday. Get off me. Thank you. Come on, Van Hall. Hmm. Ah, here we go. There we go. Get off of you. Oh shit. <laughs> I'll be right back in a minute, guys. Here we here we go guys. Finally I got it open. Kind of. Come on, shearings, get out that packet. Here we go. Finally, it's out. So yeah, here is the Shearings coach, hashtag number one. Because I did buy another one, which isn't a Van Hall, and you see that one after this one. So yeah, here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, the roof, and the bottom. And the reg is... M66, M688KVU, I think. Complete number 688, I think. So, yeah, that's number one. Here is the second shearings that I've got. So, yeah, here is the front, the side, the back, the other side, the roof, and the bottom. And I think this one is a Plaxton Premier. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. The reg is R919 VBA. So, yeah. Nice little neat model. Can't remember how much it cost me, but I think it was £8. So, yeah, yeah, it was £8. Moving on to the trolley bus. And that one's from Bradford. Well, it's not from Bradford, but the company's called Bradford, I think. So, yeah. The reg is NNU233. So, yeah. Here's the front, the side, and the back. The other side, the roof, and the bottom. And finally, the one that's the last out of its box is a VDL Bova Futura by Corgi. And if you are wondering, all all the ones that were I've just showed you are from Corgi as well. So yeah, bit of a Corgi haul here. And this one's a Night Rider Express. Not too sure if it's a code for or not. I've never heard of them. So yeah, still a neat little model. As you can see, the wheels do turn. Missing it from where it was under wiper, one wiper, I think, but I don't really give a damn. Can I get the cheaper prices? And the reg is YN16OCT. So, yeah. Here's the front, 
the side, the back, the other side, the roof and the bottom. And I think I can only really show you these on the base because I'm not too sure how to unscrew them. So yeah, I might show you a bit later when I get round to it. So yeah, obviously I'll unbox them as well. So here we have a Royal Mail Post bus, obviously a mini bus. Cost me £5.50, so yeah, let's get this out of the package. Obviously an Oxford diecast. I think all the models you'll see now are Oxford diecast. <laughs> yeah. I think I've got a bit of wrapper stuck in my mouth. So yeah, here it is on the base. And yeah, here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, the roof, and the base. So yeah, let's pop that there. Moving on, we have a British Rail Minibus by Oxford Diecast. This one cost me £4.50p. So, yeah, unbox that kind of. Oh, the case is a bit cracked, but I can't really care. Because I have models of missing wheels and stuff like that. So, yeah, here's the front, the side, the back. The other side, the roof and the base. And if you're wondering what the reg is, I'll tell you on the other one in a minute. And it's GBT985W. And the reg on the Royal Mail Post bus is... Ooh, it looks foreign. Don't know for sure. I can't really see it because that's the rule, so yeah. Obviously it's not foreign because the Royal Mail Post bus is stupid me. And here we have a London Fire Brigade post, not post bus, um, minibus type of deal thing. Probably what transports the crew to the station, or did. And this cost me £5.50. So yeah, let's get that out of the box. Here we go. Ooh. So yeah, here is the Fire Brigade minibus. And yeah, here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, the roof, and the base. Reg is 136DGX. Um, what do we have next? So yeah, here we have um, a British Busters 2002 videotape, which I can't even watch because I don't have a video recorder, but I still thought it would be a little bit cool to add to my collection. So yeah. I'll show you the video tape now. Here's the video tape itself, guys. So yeah, here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, the roof, and the bottom. Just pop that back in its case. And yeah, if I do get um, a video tape player thingy, I'll be sure to probably record it and upload it like I've done with my other DVDs. So yeah, time to show you the case. Here's the front, the side, the back, the other side, the roof, and the bottom. And if you're wondering, it did cost me £4. So yeah, pretty cool. Moving on, we have a Southwest Trains minibus sort of thing. Reg MD565 EMX. So yeah, it is a photo in case you're wondering. And yeah, here's the front and the back. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Next, I can't remember how much the photo cost me. I think it was something like 50p or something. Next, we have a timetable which I found next to a bus. Can't remember exactly which one it is though. So yeah, obviously this cost me zero pounds and zero p. So yeah, it's a Route 5 timetable for Thames Valley. So it must have been the Thames Valley bus I found it next to. And yeah, here's the front and the back moving on we have um the thingy that tells you um when the buses are going out and stuff on the rally and yeah i found this on the ground so like, mine now so yeah here's the front and the back um uh, moving on we have a plaxton hundred years book and yes i do have that model so yeah it's 1907 to 2007 and this one cost me 10 quid 
And the original price that the original I brought it for was £19.99. So yeah, quite a good deal there. So yeah, here's the front and here's the back. Um, finally, except for one more thing I need to show you, which can't fit on my bed. So yeah, here we are. <coughs> Sorry about that guys, here we have a little brochure thingy or whatever they're called. Ah, program, that's it. So yeah, here's the front of the program and the back of the program. If you're wondering what red the, these two buses are and the ones on the back is, the Stagecoach Leyland is F601MSL and the uh, other one, the brown double decker open top is KPM91E. And these three on the back are CAP234, DDL50, and YDL315. So yeah, let's show you the last thing that I got from the bus rally. You'll be surprised with this. <coughs> what the hell? And yes, I did get the front panel from the bonnet I think well not the bonnet but underneath the driver's cab of an Arriva bus not too sure what make it is it looks to be from an ALX 400 I think that's what it looks like in my opinion and yeah it's got the screen watch and the Arriva logo and yeah stuff like that so yeah that's about it I'll get the thumbnail now guys one Two, three, four. There we go. So thank you guys for watching and peace out.